Hi, my name is uh, François Ayou. I'm the developer of uh, Reigns, Reigns of Majesty, Reigns Game of Thrones. And um, uh, I wanted first to thank you, thank you very much to all our backers uh, on, on the project. Uh, the purpose of this video is basically to explain a bit the rules of the game. Uh, it's something a lot of you asked. Uh, this is the prototype that uh, we play tested uh, over the summer. Uh, you got the print and play version uh, that you can uh, download on, uh, on the page. The first player to take the crown becomes the king of the queen of the realm. But if you don't have a crown, anything can do, like any kind of uh, headgear will actually work, so you, you can try with uh, your nice uh, hat, like me. Please do not fight over the crown, it's not that good, okay? Um, so the king of the crown uh, sits in front of the board, okay, that you have here, the board of the game. Uh, so, uh, and, and uh, all the elements are, are put around it. So, first you put the four uh, tokens of, uh, the, which represent the state of your kingdom on the board, uh, in the sim on the symbols that's, uh, that, um, that's on the board, okay? Uh, then you put three piles or three decks of uh, proposal cards, the secret gold cards, and uh, the scoring tokens, okay? And that's your setup to, to play the game. So um, the king or the queen deal to the, each of the advisors uh, seven proposal cards, okay? So uh, from, from one of the pack, no, no problem. So one, two, three. Okay, and then um, you deal to each of the advisors one secret gold cards, okay? So one for this one, one for this one, and one for this one. The idea of the game is that uh, the advisors will make proposals to the king or the queen, and um, when he accepts or refuses them, they will have consequences on the four uh, pillars of the kingdom, um, consequences which may lead to the death of the, uh, the king or the queen. A bit like in uh, Reigns if you played uh, our game. So uh, the aim of the, the, the monarch will be to keep the balance, to make sure that, for example, the money stays in the middle. Because if you don't have any money, well, you die. And you have, if you have too much money, you die too in our, in our game. Okay? Same for the army, the people and the church. So that's, that's the objective of a king is to, uh, or the queen is to keep the balance as long as possible. For the advisors, uh, their aim is to uh, follow their secret gold cards, so the cards that they, they, they've been distributed at the start. So, for example, these advisors will have to uh, maximize the people, so make sure that at the end of the reign, uh, the, the people end up very positively. Uh, similar things, when, when it's in, but in the red for the, for the army, for example, if uh, at the end of the reign you end up in the red here, you get points, okay? So you want a weak army and a strong people, okay? Um, so that's the aim of the advisors. To do that, uh, the advisors will have to make proposals, okay? So let's take an example of an advisor here, who has uh, one secret gold card and uh, seven proposal cards, okay? As, uh, as uh, distributed before. So my secret gold card is to have a weak army and a strong treasury. First, I will be able to do a mulligan with all the cards I got. So I select the one I want and I will remove uh, uh, the one I don't want. So for example, in this case, here, uh, I want to keep this card because if uh, the king says yes to this one, there's a plus three for the money and uh, the money is something I want. So I will keep this one. Um, I will not keep this one because it, got, it adds plus three uh, to, the, to the army if the king says yes or the queen says yes. So that then it goes against my goal, so I will get rid of it. Um, once I selected the cards I, got, I want to get rid of, I put them in the discard pile, and I select from the free uh, deck that you got above the board uh, a new card, okay, and I'll add it to my cards. Then I will be able to pitch a proposal, so I will select one of the cards and pitch a proposal for the king or the queen. For example, this card. So, uh, on this side, which is the side you show to the king, and uh, don't show the other side to the king yet. Um, on, the, on this side, uh, you see the character that's uh, pushing the proposals, and uh, the effect the card uh, will have if uh, the king or the queen accepts the, the cards. On the other side, so the side 
for the advisor, uh, you got uh, different things. You got uh, the icons, which show, uh, which help you tell the story, uh, the proposal that you have to, to make, and uh, the effect of the card, uh, so that the, the white line, the effect of the card if the king says yes, and the black line, the effect of the card if the queen or the king says no, okay? So the idea is that uh, you have to make a proposal with the help of the icons, but you don't have to follow them uh, strictly. It's just a, a way to help you, uh, to inspire you, to make a, a, an interesting story for the king. And then you, uh, you make something with it. So for example, here yeah, I could say, uh, my king, my king, uh, we've discovered that there's a treasure under the castle. Please, please, let us uh, dig further under the castle. And uh, you don't have to be very specific about the consequences of the card. It's good to be uh, consistent with the effect uh, of the card because the king will trust you if you're not just telling lies and bluffs. So you, you have to be careful not to, uh, uh, to be too uh, cryptic in, uh, in the way you, you present the card. Okay, I'd like to hear what my advisor has to offer me today. My king, my king. This is very important. Uh, during my discoveries, I've met a very, very nice people, very, very friendly. Um, they have a lot to offer, I think, and uh, we should uh, create an embassy in their territory. What? Ah, oh, imagine how much that's going to cost. Never it's going to be cheap. You, never no, no, consider you don't know money. about the treasure of this land. It's amazing. Treasure now, nice people and treasure. Rubbish. You shouldn't believe him. What do you have for me? Send a ship to sail the oceans and discover huh. new sea creatures that we could possibly eat and use their, um, you know, attributes for medicine. I don't think ships are very cheap. Chips are not cheap. What? Chips are not cheap. Chips are not cheap. What no. are you saying? Ships. Ships are not cheap. <laughs> When, as an advisor, I finished my proposal, I put the card in front of the king or the queen, okay? And each advisor will do the same, like this, so put, make a proposal and put the card in front of the king or the queen. Uh, there's no order uh, in which you do proposal, but each advisor around the table has to make one proposal. It's very, um, you're very encouraged to discuss the proposal. So after that, the king or the queen has all the proposal in front of, uh, of them, and they will decide the one they will accept and the one from the one they will refuse. So, uh, for example, the king will say, uh, oh, I will say yes to the, to the crypt, uh, to the treasure. So you put the card here, okay, on the right of the board, and you say, uh, I'll say no to, uh, to this advisor here, so that's not interesting, okay, and this one, uh, I'm not sure about it, uh, and this one, no, neither. So it's very important that the king accepts at least one of the proposals, so you need one card on the right side of the board. You give one point to the king or the queen for accepting the card, okay, and you give one point for the, to the advisor for making a proposal that's been accepted by the monarch. So we will uh, uh, reveal the effects of the refused, the declined card first. So the king selects one of the cards, turns it around, and applies the black line of the effect, okay. So here, uh, it means uh, plus one for the church, we add plus one on the board for the church, and minus one for the people, we remove one to the people, okay? And um, it will do like this for every card that's been declined. So when you revealed all the declined cards, you go toward the accepted cards on the right of the board. So this is the same process. We reveal the, the effects of the card. Same thing, except you apply what's on the right line of the card. So here, plus three for the money and minus one for the people. So right now, the king or the queen is not, I didn't end on a, a plus or a minus. So they're still alive. That means we can go to the next turn in the ranks. So we discard all the cards, then the advisor takes a new proposal card from, from, uh, from the, the three decks, so they have the choice of the card they, they want to take after that, and they make a new round of proposal. 
And the same thing, once the cards are accepted and declined, you, you put them to the king who, who, will, show, who will apply the effects uh, like before. Um, if you end up on the, on the plus or minus, it means the end of the reign and the king or the queen is dead. You count the, the, the points, so uh, the king or the queen has the, as many points as accepted cards so far, and the advisors have a, a points corresponding to, uh, the, uh, to the, uh, the position of the tokens. So for example, this advisor here doesn't have any point for uh, the church, because it's in positive and he wants a negative church, but he got one point one point here for the army. Okay, so he gets one point. Then this is the end of the reign. So um, at this point, normally there's, an, there's a rule. You don't have to apply it if you don't feel it, but it's a very funny way to, to close the reign, so don't hesitate to do it. If this advisor um, kill the king, he has to tell the story of how the king or the queen die. And if someone laughs during uh, while listening to this story, uh, he gets point. Then this is it. Once the, the king is dead, you reset the tokens in the middle here. You redistribute cards to the advisors and the, the, uh, the new reign begins. Everyone keeps their tokens, okay, their, their money. And, uh, and that's it. The idea is that every player should be king or queen, but you, you can stop at any point. Thank you.